This is the Parchment Works, a ruined 16th century paper factory rebooted as an exquisite, ethereal extension. But when Charlie and Jane bought this grade two listed property, what lurked behind the main house was a crumbling mess. I thought the place was being held up by ivy. It's hard to believe how bad they were. It just stood empty for so long. I think that was the thing that really put other people off buying it, because it was just too risky, too much work. But Charlie and Jane had a secret weapon. Their son, Will, an architect who has masterminded a radical transformation here. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's a really, really interesting place. It spools back into a, a, a crazy mixture of kind of theatrical gothic and, and actually very modern build. Yeah, hopefully quite successfully. This delicate, subtle building within a building cleverly transforms the ruins into a home while barely displacing a single grade two listed stone. The project was all about kind of striking the right balance between making this building a habitable building that people yeah. can live in and enjoy whilst retaining the historic value of it. And within the transformed cowshed, a slick angular kitchen sits comfortably beneath a ceiling that's anything but. That's, that's a crazy world of wonky, isn't it? That's your old ceiling, which is... Yeah, this is the original ceiling, yet yeah, it's all over the place. I noticed on this beam, there's a great big nail. Yeah. Our brief to the builder was, whatever's there, keep as much as you possibly can. I mean, there are rusty nails on all of these walls where they used to tie animals up to it. There's a load of what we think might have been lime paint that's been thrown over one of the ruined walls. The builder was determined to scrub it off. We briefed him, absolutely not. Did your parents hit. like that idea of keeping uh, Initially, no. It might be marked by time, but there's nothing scruffy here. All this is the result of an arduous one-year project, made all the harder by the fact that Will and his team were being watched. An archaeologist had to sit in his deck chair and look at the builders to make sure that they were restoring the ruin as they should, and also make sure that they didn't unearth anything of any archaeological value um, as they were excavating around it. Yeah. So... But they did find something an ancient stone bath once used as part of the parchment-making process. When we discovered it, it was fully intact. Um, in that position? Yeah, in that position. Because normally when people have an archaeologist, they expect to find a spoon. Yes. You know, or a, yeah, and a they 19, get very excited about the spoon. 1940s HP sauce bottle. But this, this is something else. It was a bit of a find, yeah. By absolute luck, it lined through with that window at the end. <laughs> I can't lay claim to that. That is purely by chance. Yeah, yeah well, that's, isn't that a beautiful thing? Yeah. I mean, you know, a bit of providence. I think this is beautiful, this place. I think it's beautiful because of the way that it manages two quite competing agendas. One is the historical approach where everything is conserved and repaired and there's so much detail and there's a danger of being engulfed by fiddly twiddle. And the other approach where the modern is introduced, which, which can threaten the old. It, it, it can be blisteringly aggressive. Here, well, this building treads a fine golden line between them and the result the result is something quite delicate, quite romantic, in fact. Well, this is going to be really fun. What do you reckon, Nick? Can you see how this might work? Yes, I can. <laughs> that is a first for me. You don't have no idea what happens in the future. You can't see the future. Anything could happen. Oh, wow. You've done it. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, this looks stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Pretty, pretty gobsmacking, huh? Yeah?